I'm sitting here with two lovely cavaliers on my lap. They are sisters. This is Boo. Say hello, Boo. Hi there. This is Tag. Hey. Oh, they're just sniffing my hand for treats. Don't worry about it. But they would say hello if they weren't so interested in maybe getting a treat, right? That's right, Daddy. I have them here because we are celebrating. They are, are you ready? Their 11th birthday. They were born on October 1st, 11 years ago. We're going to have a little bit of a birthday celebration here, and we will sing happy birthday. But before we do that, I think it'll be fun to take a look back to their beginnings and some of their achievements, and then we'll come back for a celebration, okay? Boo? Boo, okay? Okay. This is the earliest video I have of Boo and Tag as puppies. The one with her back to the camera, of course, with the red collar on, is Tag. They were three and a half weeks old at this time, just starting to socialize with each other, and they have these little wrestling matches. Boo, of course, is very easy to pick out because she's the only tricolor in the litter. Their mother was a tricolor named Derby. She was a beautiful tricolor girl and a very successful show dog. Uh, we bred her to a Blenheim. As you can see, we got mostly Blenheims. This was a wonderful litter, though. They were all just gorgeous puppies, and they were all uh, gorgeous adults as they progressed. This is a photo of the litter when we were weaning them, training them to eat solid food. You can see they did very well. They love food. They're cavaliers, so of course they love food. Uh, Boo, again, is easy to spot, the only tricolor in the bunch. And the next to last one from left to right, with the nice Blenheim spot on her head, is Tag. It was a litter that we would probably not ever forget. A few days after they were born, we got hit with a very bad hurricane, uh, knocked down big trees, uh, and uh, did quite a bit of damage uh, to the outside, thankfully not to the rest of our house. Uh, but you see in this nice photo I took of them when they were eight weeks old, uh, there's a very large pile of firewood. That was all the wood I chopped up just from the branches of the trees that came down during the storm. But Boo and Tag were the two sisters that we wound up keeping and showing, and um, this is actually from one of their very first dog shows, and those are the ribbons they won in just one weekend. They did quite well, and this was when they were just puppies still. When Tag was a bit older, I entered her in the Westminster Dog Show. That's me handling her in the ring. And don't get fooled by the fact that we were standing next to the best of breed sign. Uh, she actually got reserve winners, uh, which is kind of a nice way of saying second place in the classes. And not to be outdone, Boo was very successful in the show ring too. Uh, this is a photo that we treasure because it's when she earned the title of grand champion in the AKC. Boo was also the one who gave us the next generation to carry on. Uh, this is a picture of the litter that she had that gave us the future generations. The big guy on the left, by the way, uh, is Dylan. He was the sire of the litter. And if you notice the girl kind of in the middle there, the black and tan with the white paws sticking out, that's obviously Bootsy. And the one next to her on the left is Lizzie. Bootsy is Apple's mother, and Lizzie is mother to both Jamba and Bella. The good-looking ruby boy in between Lizzie and Bootsy is Mulligan, otherwise known as Mulligan Man, and he is the main character in my wife Katie's new children's book, Mulligan Man Finds His Purpose, which, by the way, you can buy on Amazon.com. Come on up. Come up. They're kind of old, so it's hard for them to get up. But I have their birthday cake here. Nice, healthy, meaty, and vegetable-y birthday cake with two candles in it for the two girls. And they know it's food. Boo, come on. Wait there. No, no, no. Wait there. She'd take that in a second. Good girl. Okay. 
Let's light the candles. This is so much fun. We're going to light the candles. We're going to do a little bit of a variation on happy birthday to you. It's going to be happy birthday, you too. Happy birthday, you too. Happy birthday, you too. Happy birthday, Boo and Tag. Happy birthday, you too. Well, out the candles. Good job. Very good. They get the first piece. Happy birthday, my 11-year-old girl. Happy birthday, my 11-year-old other girl. And now they want the rest. It'll be with your dinner in a little while.